Landon, before Larry was hired back in the 2011, when Everett was on his way out, the uh, program was somewhat in chaos with the incident of Lake Cloud on Everhead. At that point in time, could you foresee an ending to your career, kind of like what this has been? Uh, not necessarily, um, especially you know, as a player in this sport, you don't really look ahead. Um, even you kind of say there's, like, there's just so much going on, especially even then. Uh, it's kind of hard to just look look in this future. So it's kind of the future was cloudy. Um, you know, it's, and it usually is because you know, I mean you never know. But yeah, it's, it's kind of the beauty of college sports, but um, it's especially cloudy there because we had no idea was going to become it, and I think it's worked out pretty nicely so far. Was there a concern that things could, could take a take it out? Uh, not not that I remember it. You know, I think um, you, you, like I, I said it before. You know, that's something I've learned in, you know, the, in my time here is that you can only control what you can control. Um, you know, we had, we had guys that uh, didn't lay down and uh, you know, went eight, eight and four. I don't know. You know, I'd have to go back and look, but you know, we had a successful generally successful season the next year, but we didn't uh, lay it down. You know, I think I think guys just responded and adapted. How long does it feel the, the journey, I guess, has been, though, in that sense that from where things were, you know, when you first yeah. got here to what's happened between and to now? You know, it, it seems long. I was, it's funny because it's funny you asked me that, that yesterday uh, during the lift, someone I mentioned, I already knew this, but you know, they reminded me, unfortunately, that some of our freshmen that are here were in eighth grade when I first stepped on campus here, and I was like, wow, that makes me feel, feel a little old. Um, but it, it, it seems like it's been, it seems long and short all at the same time. Uh, you know, my time here has definitely flew by. It's kind of wild that this regular season's over, and uh, I'll never play in Keenan again as a, as a football player. So um, it, 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 my answer to your question is kind of cryptic because it, it feels like it's been a long time. Intellectually, I know it's been like a long time, but Kind of emotionally, it flew by for me. Yeah, how about how about as for the team as a whole, though, the difficulties of what it's gone through during your college career of coaching change and the NCAA case, and it's not been a smooth road no. during your time here. No, um, I, I guess what are you asking me? Then? No, I mean just how difficult of a journey has it been uh, for the program as okay, a whole, though, yeah. in your time here. Well, we've definitely been through a lot of ups and downs as a program. Um, you know, it's been guys having to step up and. Guys having to grow and mature, and you know, understand that there's some things you can't control, and uh, one thing we can't control is how we approach the season, how we prepare for games, and um, how we prepare in the off season, and just making sure they stay focused on and all the things that they can uh, actually have an impact on. Well, you've been through some seasons where things haven't quite come together for you guys, and obviously this season things, things have. I'm curious from your perspective, what is the difference? You know, what are the little things that have to click right? Is it more than you expected? Is it less than you expected? What's the difference between like seven and six and eleven and one in your head? Uh, you know, it, it's genuine is the first word that comes to mind. Um, you know, I think la like all my whole, all my years here has always been it's a team atmosphere. So you're always like brotherhood and family, and you know you break it down things like that. Uh, but I think we live actually lives that genuinely. Uh, this year more than ever, and I think guys collectively as a whole, it's a bunch of individuals making a decision that they're going to do everything they can to prepare this week and give their all to the team for the team effort. Um, I think it, it's it's not any more any less than I expected. Honestly, it's it's just guys really focused on the team and the team chemistry and what I can, what can I do for the team, um, you know, and it's. I've seen a lot less selfishness this year than I've ever seen uh, before. You know, and I, I didn't think it was necessarily bad, but um, I think guys just went all in on team this year, and I think it's, it's really paid off. It's really paid off. And just to follow up on that, you know, you mentioned this. You say those things every year, right? It's brotherhood, and you know, it's kind of, I guess, for lack of a better term, cliches, football cliches. Right. For you as a fifth-year senior, and for some of these other seniors, how, I guess. Hard is it to, or how much of a challenge was it to like actually believe that? Because you say it every year, but it seems like this year, like you said, there's there's a realness that maybe there is was in previous years. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be as hard as you think to to believe it. And I think it kind of goes back to January, uh, just like <coughs> Coach Flores says. You know, I think when we 
all just aired that out. There's just so much honesty, like, you know, guys, this is where we're at, and this is not where we want to be. Uh, I think even starting then, guys just I started seeing people like sell out. You know, I saw this whole like just the team maturity <coughs> more and more through the off season. And by the time we got to the season, everyone was like, let's do whatever we can to win. You know, no one there was a lot less complaining, and everyone was just pulling in the same direction. Do you remember what your what you first thought when you met Coach Fedora? <laughs> yeah, uh, intense. Uh, I thought it was pretty intense. Just a little, little intense guy. Um, you know, I think that's, that's kind of the first thing we were, we were going through. And, uh, you know, he, he was definitely challenge, challenging us from from the get go. How quickly into his first message to you guys did he talk about doing what you're doing now? And how much did you believe it was possible? How long did it take for you to actually sink in and say, you know what? This guy, I, I believe him. Uh, that's, that's a good question. Uh, it's kind of hard to remember what his uh, speech was. He's given us a lot of speeches over you know, <laughs> the years. Um, yeah, I think, I think having just the the way the team was, you know, and having so many guys play for different coaches, and I think that it got better as the years went on because we kind of got more and more became more and more of like Fedora's team um, as opposed to any other coach's team. I don't think anyone intended for that to happen. I just think it's kind of a natural reaction. If someone didn't recruit you or um, you're getting used to a new coach, it's just going to take some time naturally. Uh, but I think January 6th, January 6th is what we always said. January is like, that was like the critical moment where everyone just Again, cleared it out and said, "Let's let's just all believe and do this because why not?" I guess um, I can't really point to any progression or or a time. Uh, it's just been a lot going on for the past five years for me. Eleven straight wins, yet nobody's not too many people are giving you guys a chance to win this game. Does that make you guys mad? Uh, I mean, why would it when it's been that way the whole season? Uh, I think we're just gonna push this game the same we have, have every other game. Uh, you know, I think we're very intrinsically focused this year. Uh, we've never really been too worried about what external people have wanted to say or think. Uh, we just worry about our own jobs and what we have to do because you know, that's, that's how you get distracted as a team. Your choice of attire, how different is that Coastal Championship than this year's? <laughs> I've actually worn this for a couple of press conferences before. This was probably the only one that's more intentional. Uh, I felt it was appropriate this week to start the week off with the Coastal Championship from a couple years ago. Um, it's very important to us. It's something that, you know to accomplish our goals this season. Uh, it's been surreal, but you know for us expected. It's what we worked for, um, and I'm just excited to be in the practice this week. All right, let's get uh, Marquise up here. Thank you, Landon. Hey, yeah, last thing.